catch them all! Pokemon! Hey everyone, this is Nintendo Meta God, aka Lord Fluffy, coming to you with these extras. These are entirely just me catching Pokemon. Yep. The first one we have here is a Parasect, a parasect I have found in the Safari Zone. Jesus, you know I can't speak when I'm fumbling, stumbling, dumbling, humbling. What? Over my words. <laughs> oh, me. Anyway, I'm just trying to catch this Parasect right now because, again, I never caught a Paris. Or Paris, or whatever the hell you want to call it. But, like, I was determined to catch this thing, honestly. Like, I just wanted it. I mean, there's a lot of things that I wanted, to be example. Like, a Kangaskhan. I don't even know how many times I ran into the, one of those things in the freaking Safari Zone. But I still haven't caught one. I've probably spent over two hours in the Safari Zone, alone, trying to catch a Kangaskhan. It hasn't worked, so I gave up. Yeah, I gave up. No more attempting to catch the Kangaskhan, but hey, we got the Parasect, and I'm gonna... And I named this thing Lieutenant Paris. Don't ask me why, but like... Uh, it was actually more or less... Like, there's two things to it. Like, one, you could think of Star Trek Voyager's Lieutenant Tom Paris. Or you could think of, like, an old, a better version of, you know, a Paris in the game. And here is a Dratini. If you take the Super Rod and actually go ahead and... If you take the Super Rod and do a, like, um... And use it in the water, like the very first patch of water you see when you go into the, uh... Safari Zone, you can actually get a Dratini and a Dragonair. That... I mean, like, you can see here, this is another session of me in there, because the first session I only caught a Parasect, and I was uh, searching for that Kangaskhan all the time, and here we go, I caught the uh, Dratini. So yeah, you can catch a Dratini and a Dragonair in that same place, but it is extremely hard to catch a Dragonair. The existence of this Pokemon was only recently confirmed by a fisherman who caught one. Yeah. Like... <laughs> It's extremely difficult to catch a Dragonair. Like, I've tried five times, and, like, it's appeared three, t it's appeared five times, and each time it's run away within the first two turns, so. Like, yeah, what can I say besides, holy shit. So, I named that thing Spike, and now we are moving on to a Rhyhorn, which I still have not caught in it either, but I actually have in the actual game. You are kidding me. <laughs> Ow, my elbow. Ah, that hurt. Yeah, you see, the thing is, once you once you run into, like, a specific number of Dragonairs, what I find is Magic Carps will only be what shows up afterwards. Like, I, I don't even, like, really. Like, those Magic Carps are just the death of me. <laughs> yeah, this is post-commentary, as you can probably tell, as I my voice is literally what, talking over the transitions instead of normally when the voice cuts out, and then I go into the transition, and it turns off with me coming back, blah, 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 you get the point, I named this guy Rockhorn, because I have no creativity in what I name my Pokemons, yep, so there we go, transferring now to a Magneton, yeah, <sighs> honestly, I've never actually had a Magneton in my party, but, a, but, a, but, a, but a, you know, if, it, if I could catch, like, a Magnemite somewhere else, I probably would use him over Pikachu, but this is Pokemon Yellow, of course, and you already have a freaking Pokeball, Pokemon like that. And so this is, again, this is actually in the, um, the power plant where Zapdos was. This was actually just before, I believe, part 40-something. I don't remember exactly which part, but as you can see, my level at the end of the game is way different from what I'm at right now, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, we... See, we named it. I actually named him Three Eyes, from what I can remember. So, yeah. My commentary is nowhere where it should be right now. So yeah, I basically got like 86 Pokemon at the end of the. Um, I think I explained this already, or... Oh, I will explain this. It depends on... Oh, shut up, dude. And just... So, that's a Volt... That's a Magneton. This is a Voltorb. We're getting a Voltorb now. And then it moves on to, like, just a few of our random Pokemons here and there. Uh, I did do the Mew Glitch quite a few more times, but I only ran into Pokemon that really, uh... That really only, like, uh... What's the word I'm looking for here? I 
only ran into Pokemon that... Ugh. I've caught already. That's what I've been looking for. Jesus. Can't can't figure out my words. And here we go. Caught the Voltorb. I need this thing Pokeball because I am dumb like that. <laughs> ah, I mean, it is basically an upside down Pokeball. That's the thing. Or is it upside right? Wait, yeah, that's right. Electrode is upside down. This is upside right. I just don't give up. And that's me censoring out my own fleets with my really hype. Don't no, you get it? Whatever. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. And now it's time for a Grimer. A Grimer. A Grimer. This freaking Pokemon. This freaking Pokemon. I don't even know what to say to it because it freaks me the f*** out. <laughs> no, I did say I would like to have like 100 Pokemon by the end of this. And then I changed it to 90. At this point, it really depends on whatever I like. Uh... Yeah, the final thing I'm going to do, it depends on how many Pokemon are in that final thing I'm going to do. I'm... You basically know what it is. Derby, derby. But, yeah, that's the basic gist of it. I am, uh, name this Grimer Slime or Slimy or something like that. I don't know. Don't freaking ask me, because I will never know. And now we get to a Magmar, which I used the Mewclish to find, because I don't think you can find Magmar anywhere else in the game. Magmar was actually the only, uh, Mewclish Pokemon that I ran into. Or new Mewclish Pokemon that I ran into. And actually, I derped actually pretty hard, because... As I was going to, like, um, do the Mewglitch for a final time, like, actual final time, like, the last trainer who I had not fought in the whole freaking map, um, <laughs> stupidest thing I ever did was fucking save while I was, save instead of fly away, so I saved instead of flying away, therefore I saved and he immediately saw me afterwards and I fucked up the final Mewglitch there. I don't even know what I would have gotten with that, but Magmar was the only new Pokemon I got with the Mewglitch. Which is stupid, considering I ran into another missing no. A uh, fucking dragon, a Tratini, not a dragon air, what am I saying? And. And, a f and believe it or not, I found Articuno, but I didn't record it. Like, come on. A level 7 Articuno? Who the fuck doesn't want a level 7 Articuno when they start, start the game? Ah, now we're transferring on to uh, using a Moonstone on my Clefairy that I had. Caught, I believe. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I showed me catching the Clefairy because I forgot to. But basically, I evolved it into a Clefable, and now I don't have any Moonstones left, which means basically I won't be able to get a Wigglytuff unless I try. And then there's just the Goldine that I caught, and I only recorded like five seconds of that. And then I went back to the uh, Safari Zone with the Good Raw, which I never actually got. And um, yeah, I used a Safari Ball and I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to catch a Poliwag. Poliwag. Yeah. So again, this is just me catching Pokemon to see extras. It's really just optional. I should have said that at the beginning. These parts are really just optional. 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 It's so optional, guys. Lol. Uh, so yeah. I named this Polygon. I don't even know why I'm saying why I named it. I'm just gonna show it. Uh, yeah, this, 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 my game. And there's a Cubone. Um, yeah. I caught the Cubone in Safari Zone, and then I took this Cubone over to that person who wanted to trade it for a Machoke, which, I, if you ask me, is one of the weirdest trades I've ever seen. Now, uh, some people might be saying, but wait a minute, you already caught a Machoke. Why the heck would you want to get another one? Well, if you remember correctly, Machokes evolved during trades. So as soon as it's traded, it'll evolve into its third level three. So base or its third evolution. This is the same thing with Haunter and Gengar, but I haven't found any trainer out there who would trade for a Gengar. So yeah, I named it Cube Ball, and then I traded it for uh, this Macho, which is going to eventually evolve into a Machamp. So yeah, that that this should actually conclude the uh, extra parts here. I'm just gonna have to... Yeah. So yeah, this is another one of those trade sequences. Lol, 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 lol. And oh my god. Oh, I should like to roll with my... Or... 
rowing! You can see I literally have nothing to say at this point. This is the problem with post-commentary. I really just have nothing to say half the time. So there we go. We get Machoke. We already got a Machoke. But all of a sudden, Ricky is evolving! What? I don't, actually, I don't actually hear the audio, so I don't know. But yeah, it's evolving into a Machamp. <sighs> and mind you, I like Machamps a lot, but if I can get this thing a lot earlier in the game, I would just love it. And this is going to be the last little thing here. I use the Leaf Stone on an Execute. So now we're getting an Executor. Uh, this will about do it for the whole uh, catching the Pokemons and more Pokemons evolving and whatnot thing of this extra part. This will probably be the last one. So uh, thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. Had a great time doing it, and uh, see you guys later.